Hello everyone and welcome to my online lecture series in English language and literature. You are here with myself Dr. K. W. Gutte, your course educator. Great to see you here in this online lecture series. Today we are going to have a short story that is in unit number one. B.A. B.Sc. B.Com. B.S.W. and Fine Arts, second year. This is semester three, and unit one, fiction or short stories. This unit has two short stories. First is the Model Millionaire by Oscar Wilde, and second is the Lost Child by Mulkraj Anand. So today we are going to have this Model Millionaire. short story by oscar wilde before going to start the story we'll have some background information about oscar wilde oscar wilde is an irish writer who wrote in english as well as in french and he spent most of his lifetime in london one of the he is one of the most famous people of his time he is a short story writer playwright and novelist even he has written some poems oscar wilde is famous for lady windermere's fan a woman of no importance the importance of being earnest the picture of dorian gray the happy prince the selfish giant etc this short story the model millionaire is first appeared in a newspaper the name of the newspaper is the world and it was first published in june 1887 again it was published in 1891 in crime and other stories So this short story has published twice. First, it was published in 1887, and second, it was published in 1891. So it was published twice. First, we'll see the characterization. What are the characters in this short story? Hubie Erskine. is the main character or the protagonist of this short story huey is a poor young man who is moved to pity by the sight of an elderly beggar who is posing as a model for his artist friend huey is a kind and charming man who helps a beggar and he is also a lover of laura laura martin who is a beloved so second character is that laura martin laura martin is a beloved of huey and she is the daughter of a retired colonel colonel martin next character is alan trevor he is a painter an artist friend of huey erskine another character is and that is important character baron hausberg a model of a beggar but actually a millionaire one of the richest men in europe and last that is minor character but important character colonel morton the father of laura morton so these are the characters in this short story the model millionaire the story starts unless one is wealthy there is no use in being charming fellow romance is privilege of rich it is not profession of unemployed the poor should be practical and prosaic now oscar wilde wants to tell here that a poor person though he is a charming may not enjoy his life and he will not be a privileged 
will not have the privilege of romance and if he is unemployed by profession he will have a little importance and these poor people should be very practical and these people should be very ordinary in their life this is the truth of modern life that oscar Wo oscar wilde wants to present through this story this protagonist huey erskine is a poor guy and the short story is moving around this huey erskine and huey erskine is a poor and having no importance in his life because he has not enough money he is a poor person and he is not ill natured he is doing good things in the life he is wonderfully good and he is even a good looking with his crisp and brown hair his physical appearance that his personality was good looking and he had his crisp brown hair and grey eyes he was popular in men as well as women because his personality was charming huey is a handsome charming and popular but he has been very unlucky as far as the financial matters are concerned huey had every accomplishment except money from his father he had not received property on which he can survive but he had received a cavalry sword and a history of peninsular war this book in 15 volumes so he had no other sources of income to have money he has tried his hand in several different businesses but he was fail he could not do a good business and he was unsuccessful in other businesses having no job his only source of income is 200 pounds a year which is given to him by an elderly aunt he lived on 200 a year that an old aunt allowed him so he was having no job the only source of income was his aunt elderly aunt she was allowing him 200 pounds a year he had tried everything he tried in stock exchange in stock market but he could not do good in that stock market and stock business he was like a butterfly among the bulls and bears he had been a tea merchant for a little longer he tired of different varieties of a tea so because of there are varieties of a tea he could not do a good business in tea market he would try selling dry sherry and even in this selling of a dry sherry he was unsuccessful ultimately he became nothing a delightful ineffectual young man with perfect profile and no profession he was a person with perfect profile but he had no profession he had no job he had no source of income and even worse thing happened with huey erskine he was in love so this is supposed as a worse thing added trouble to his problems this was the thing this was the worst thing and this love added trouble to his life huey has fallen in love with a young woman named laura morton 
and this Laura Merton, a daughter of Colonel Merton. Colonel Merton was a retired person who lost his temper and designation in India and had never found again. This Laura and Yui, this couple was the handsomest couple in London and not a penny piece between them. Laura's father, Colonel Merton, is fond of Yui but due to his poor financial prospect, he does not want the young man to marry his daughter. So this was the twist among the these lovers. So this was the twist in the love story of Laura and Huey. As typically seen in Bollywood movies, Jab tak tum das hazar pound nahi kama lete, tab tak main tumhe apne beti ka haath nahi de sakta. Okay, so this is a kind of a conflict appeared in the life of this man, this a charming man, Huey Erskine. He has often told Huey that he will only allow him to get engaged, Laura, after he has earned 10,000 pounds. So this was the condition that he has to earn 10,000 pounds and then only he will allow Colonel Merton will allow to get engaged. When he goes to Colonel Merton, he says, come to me, my boy, when you have got 10,000 pounds of your own. One morning, he was in his way to Holland Park, where the Mertons lived. He dropped in to see a great friend of his, Alan Trevor, a painter. So Alan Trevor is an important character. Alan Trevor is a painter. He was an artist and artists are rather rare as mentioned by Oscar Wilde. This Alan Trevor is a strange artist having a rough beard on his face, a ragged beard on his face, freckled face and red ragged beard. He was a real master of painting. It is supposed that he is a master of painting. And Alan Trevor attracted towards this Huey as a friend because this Huey was a very kind person. He likes Huey due to his reckless nature and buoyant spirit. Alan Trevor had given permanent entry to Huey in his studio. When Huey entered into the studio of Alan Trevor, he saw he was painting a portrait of an old man, old beggar. Alan Trevor was putting finishing touch to a wonderful life-size picture of a beggar man. A beggar stood there in a corner of the studio. He was an old man with wrinkles on his face and he was looking piteous. He wore a chorus brown cloak, all tears and tatters. His boots were patched. With one hand he leant on a, a rough stick. He held his battered hat for arms. Alan Trevor, a painter, he was portraying the picture of this beggar man, the picture of this model. The face of this model was heavily wrinkled and he looks extremely sad. And the expression of sadness, the wrinkles on his face should be there on the portrait. That's why this man was standing there and Alan Trevor, a painter, he was painting a portrait. He was portraying a portrait of 
this old beggar he will ask to his friend artist friend how much does a model get for sitting he says a shilling an hour so this was a very little amount that was being given to a model he says a shilling an hour to that model can be given by this artist and when he asked how much you get from this selling of the portrait alan says he gets 2000 guineas when he listens when he hears that a painter can get 200 guineas of that portrait and the model will get only a shilling an hour he was surprised and he thought that that model should get the percentage royalty in the selling price of that portrait at the same time a servant came in and told trevor that a frame maker wanted to speak to him when alan went out he we talked to the old beggar man when the beggar man rests on the wooden bench huey felt very sorry for this old man the beggar model and he draw out a coin from his pocket and he had to give to this coin and he handed over this coin to this beggar the old man had a faint smile when he received the coin from huey and said thank you sir went when trevor arrived and huey took his leave he spent a day with laura and got a charming scolding for his extravagance he had to walk to home because he had given the coin he had given the money to that old man so that he has to walk that night he strolled into a palette club about 11 o'clock and he found traveler sitting by himself in a smoking room drinking hock and slazer alan and huey in this way they meet to each other this traveler says that the old man was interested in huey and he asked several questions about huey and then goes on to say that he told the old man all about huey laura morton and the condition which colonel morton set that prevents their marriage the old model is devoted to huey alan told everything about him the old man says that if he could do something for huey he wanted to help huey huey is unhappy that his friend told that old beggar all about his private life huey didn't like that somebody could know about his private life the amused alan tells huey that the old man he was painting was baron hausberg not a beggar but one of the wealthiest men in europe and someone who often buys alan's painting alan says that the man who was standing as a model was not actually a beggar but he was a wealthiest man in europe because he has house in every capital and he even he can stop russia going to war that much of influence he has because he is a rich the old man in the studio was a baron hausberg and great friend of alan he buys all the pictures he gave an order to paint him as a beggar this baron himself has ordered alan to paint to him as a beggar huey cried 
that he had given him a sovereign. Huey realized that he had given a sovereign to a, one of the richest men in Europe. At that time, Trevor burst into the laughter and Trevor said that he had no idea he would offer arms to a beggar like a millionaire. The old millionaire was interested about Huey after that incident, but he might invest that sovereign for Huey Erskine. Huey says that he is an unlucky devil. He wanted to go to bed. Huey feels ashamed about having given a coin to a millionaire. Oscar Wilde here wanted to picture a person of a Huey Erskine who himself is a poor person. But looking at a beggar, he feels sorry and he wanted to help him even though he has not enough money and he gives a coin to that beggar-like millionaire because this millionaire was in disguise. We didn't know that this is a millionaire but he thinks that this is a poor person standing as a model and he might be a real beggar and he has to give something and he wanted to help this beggar uh, by giving that coin. The next morning, a representative of Baron Hausberg comes to Huey's house with an envelope. The writing on the envelope says it contains a wedding present from an old beggar. So this was the present from that old beggar. As this Huey has invested that coin, he gets the return from that investment. When he invested the money in stock market, he never gained returns. But when he invests this coin for a beggar, he gets the returns more than his expectations. And inside that envelope, Huey finds a check for 10,000 pounds. Because he get the check of 10,000 pounds and a job from Baron Hausberg, he could get married with Laura Morton. Baron made a speech at wedding breakfast and all people were laughing coming to know that incident. Oscar Wilde says, a millionaire models are rare enough, but by model millionaires are rarer still. There may not models who are millionaire. Models may not be millionaire, but this type of millionaires, okay, millionaires who are even rare, this type of means a type of Baron Hausberg. This type of millionaires are rarer who are helping others, who are helping poor persons like Huey, Huey Erskine. So, in a closing lines, Oscar Wilde through Alan says, millionaire model are rare enough but model millionaires are rarer still. What is the message Oscar Wilde wants to give from this short story? When you help somebody, even when you are in trouble, you will also be helped too. Oscar Wilde tries to give this message, when you help somebody and when you are in trouble yourself, when you help somebody in trouble, will also be helped by somebody, will also be helped by others. So helping others is a good thing. This message is given by Oscar Wilde in this short story. Helping others is always good. It will not go west. Okay. Charity never goes west. So if you help to anybody, somebody will help you and you will have returns 
of your goodness in course of time you will get the returns of your goodness you will not get the returns of your investment as investing into a share market investing into the business but if you are investing into a charity the returns of the goodness will be more than returns of some investment in share market or stock market or in some business another message oscar wilde gives in this short story is appearance can be deceived if somebody is looking very poor if somebody is looking like a common man but he may, might not be a common man he might not be a poor person appearance can be deceived simple living and standard thinking a person who is looking very simple a person who is looking very poor might not be simple or poor so appearance can be deceived we should not make our opinion by the appearance of any person we should not make our opinion that somebody is good and somebody is bad somebody is poor and somebody is rich any kind of opinion we should not have by the appearance so appearance can be deceived so dear friends we have seen the model millionaire by oscar wilde some of the questions can be asked on this short story write a note on the character of huey erskin there can be questions like how appearance can be deceived there can be questions like write a de detailed note on the short story the model millionaire in this way we have seen the model millionaire by oscar wilde i am thankful to everyone for listening this video lecture in the course of time you will get the link of test in the description box i will update the link of test if you like this video hit the like button you can share this video thank you